Hey, Danny. Yes, Trevor? How would you like to help me unbox today's model car? Oh boy, would I ever! Today we're going to be looking at AMT's Cuckoo's Nest 125th scale Ford F-150 custom van. Now this one's out of my own personal collection, but if you want to see everything that we have available now in our hobby shop for sale, visit us at www.monster-hobbies.ca and I'll leave a link for that right up here that you can click and go see that website right now. So Danny, without further ado, let's go down and take the lid off this model kit and I'll let you go over the instructions. Oh boy, I get to read the instructions. Okay, let's go, let's go. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Now here's a car to listen to Disco Duck in as you groove on down the highway. We have the Cuckoo's Nest by AMT. Now this again is one of those amazing kits right flashing out of the 70s for you, just so you can enjoy it. Van fans, Ford's newest goodie box all tricked out with a cargo of custom gear for cruising in style. It's looking good because it's wearing the latest in macho wheels and tires, peekaboo portholes, a custom hood grille combo, and super graphic color decals. There's captain chair buckets, CB radio for wrapping, and a heavy breathing V8 in the engine room. Plus lots more, ready and waiting. Make this beauty yours, now. So without further ado, let's take the lid off this great model kit and just see what's inside here. Aha, look, we've got our instruction sheet and the decals are inside. We'll take a look at that toward the end of the video. Then we've got this nice van body and undercarriage, some chrome parts, and a lot of stuff in a bag here, including these awesome tires and wheels. And then we've got our glass components. So let's just clear this out of the way, and I, I guess I'll let Danny take a look and guide you through the instruction sheet. Oh boy, oh boy, now it's my turn to talk. Okay, uh, what we have here is a V8 engine with a transmission on the back, and then an oil pan, these exhaust manifolds, two cylinder heads, two valve covers, we've got our air cleaner, our air intake hose, upper radiator hose, a carbotutor, intake manifold distributor, oil filter, front engine cover, alternator, pulleys, and a fan, and then there's this nice breather hose so it can sniff out cats, <laughs> yeah, and chickens. Now we get a dog's eye view of the underneath of this van, and here we've got our full frame, our gas tank, these cross members, they got full leaf springs in the back, a two-piece differentiator, and these little blocks to raise up the back end just to make the differentia get up even higher. We've also got these rear shocks here, and then there's some more cross members as well. And then up front, we've got these nice radius rods. We've got the front shock absorbers. Then we've got our I-beam axles with the springs here. Springs go bouncy bounce. Then there's the front disc brakes and the tie rod. And then, if we look under here, we got the drive shaft, and then we've got the wheel backs, the retainers, the tires, and these cool mag wheels. I always like chasing trucks and vans with big tires. <laughs> Next up, we got the wheel well and firewall, as well as the steering box and column, the master cylinder and brake booster, a heater blower, and then our engine will pop up in here. Then we've got this rear bumper, and the exhaust manifold, which goes on here with a nice muffler to keep it all nice and quiet. And then we've got our radiator wall, radiator cap, windshield washer bottle, and a battery to supply the voltage to this beast. Now normally I don't like to lie around underneath the van, I like to go inside it. So here we've got our nice interior. I always like to sit in this passenger seat up close to the air vent and the heater control, so I'll be a nice warm puppy. Anyway, you've got your seat back, your seat front, the armrest that I like to chew on, and then you've got the swivel plate and the mounting bracket there. That's our air vent, like I said before. There's our stock steering wheel, our steering column, the CB radio, and our instrument panel, so Trevor will know just how fast he's driving the van. Now panel 7 shows you how to put the body together. Now we've got two different types of windows out the side. These are our porthole windows. You got these double style, and you got this keyhole kind. So you might have to cut a little hole in the side of the body just to sink them in proper. Then we've got our side windows and our windshield, and this will pop up from the inside of the van. 
And then we've got a window in the back which also comes in from the back. And then two nice red shiny taillights. And that brings us to our final assembly. Look up here you got this nice rear airfoil spoiler with some mounting brackets. And then you got your Ford hood and there's that nice hood scoop for catching the chickens in. And then we've got our custom grill and this front air dam with these really cool looking driving lights so that you can see the road down below. And then what do we got here? Whoa, it looks like two CB antennas. Your choice, good buddy. Gee, Trevor, I don't know about you, but this unboxing video is making me hungry. Me too. How would you like some bulgogi chicken? What is that? Bulgogi chicken is a Korean dish that I found on a YouTube channel called Chop Chop Recipe. Will it take long? Danny, I can cook this faster than you can scrape down a model kit's seam lines. You just need some simple ingredients and cooking utensils. And you too can make a great meal like this. Chop Chop Recipes shows you step by step how to cook fast, easy Asian food. Awesome! Now let's eat that bulgogi chicken and get back to our unboxing video. Boy, that bulgogi chicken was good. Thanks once again to Chop Chop Recipes for that great meal. So here we are looking at our Ford van. And as you can see again, this has some nice ribs on the roof and very well detailed. Actually, this one does, is pretty good for uh, not having too many seam lines and mold marks. There's our Econoline 150 right there written on the side, as well as the side marker lights, which are sunken in. The nice door handles on that van, as well as the front. This thing does look really good. Oh, there's quite a bit of flash on this corner here, actually. Looks pretty bad, but... Oh, something happened in my license plate shroud there. It's got a little bit of a nick. But anyway, there's the Ford logo. And if you look underneath, there's a couple of mold marks up there on the roof panels. But those could easily be taken out with your number 16 hobby blade. Hey, I think Danny did a pretty good job on those instructions. I'll let him do the decal sheet at the end. Next up, we have the wonderful interior of our Kuru's Nest van. And as you can see again, this is the same as some of the other Fords I've done on here. Those nice side panels are molded in place. That would be on the cruising van as well as the Coca-Cola van. There's our pedals molded into the floor again. Well, basically this is the same mold. Nice thing is there's no mold marks on the inside of the floor pans here. They are all conveniently underneath. And as you can see, they do sit up quite a bit. So you'll need your sandpaper to get that off. Always remember to cross sand. But overall, I would say this is a really groovy little van. Here we have the parts tree, which includes our frame, our cross rails, our exhaust system, and our brakes. So let's just take a look at this up in the camera. Again, you can see there's quite a bit of flash on this, which we'll have to take care of. But overall, this is not bad. Those mold marks are up on the top of the frame underneath, so not even Danny crawling underneath would see them. So again, very nicely done and very easy to clean up. Our next parts tree includes the radiator and the radiator mounting bracket, our firewall and inner wheel aprons, as well as two-piece differential and our suspension components and steering columns and all the rest of that groovy stuff. So if we just bring this up to the camera, again, you can see there are some mold marks on the back of those brake drums and whatnot. You know, this is cracked right here. I think that this is always a problematic thing, it seems, with these vans. The one that uh, James loaned us was warped. This one's cracked. Only the Coca-Cola one I think is good because that's more recent. But overall, just know that that's like that. And you might have to do some repair work. But I, I would say overall, this is not a bad model kit. And here we have our nice Ford motor, which again is the 351 Windsor. And as you can see, the detail on it is pretty decent. It's uh, not super detailed. But then again, this motor is gonna be sitting underneath that hood and you're not gonna be able to see all of it. It is quite a nice casting though, and should be easy to clean up of all the flash and assemble and have a decent looking thing underneath your model. And here we have our interior, as Danny was pointing out, one of his favorite places to be. So here's the driver's seat, and this is where Danny would sit. And we've got our armrests here as well. These are our captain's chairs with those nice swivel mounts on there. And again, we've got our gas tank, and that looks like our windshield washer bottle over there, as well as our wheel retainers here. So if we take this up, you can see the nice upholstery pattern on those seats. Detail again is nice and crisp, but with this model, for some reason, there is quite a bit of flash. 
Mold marks all up and underneath, so you need to get rid of some of those. Just make sure they don't interfere with any of the places where the model is going to seep down together to another part. Now most of the parts that were on this parts tree seem to have fallen off and got loose in the box, but we do have four wheel backs. We've got this retainer clip, or maybe that's our master cylinder booster. Then we've got our uh, front suspension with those springs, that hose, our heater, and then we've got our different our drive shaft, pardon me. And then I noticed that it's got this interesting wheel in here. I'll just pick this up into the camera. This is actually one of the wheels on the six-wheeler version of this van, which I'll show a picture of right now. So you see there it is, and I'm not really sure why it's in here, but still pretty cool. And then finally we've got our nice dashboard here. Let me move that out of the way. And as you can see, it's got all those great details in there. Oh, come on camera, focus for me. There. All those great details in there, such as our instrument cluster and our radio and everything else. That brings us to the last of our white plastic components, and as you can see, we've got these nice side louvers for our windows. We have our CB radio for when you're driving down that road doing the double nickel. And then we've got our front and rear bumpers, as well as our custom hood. And the Ford emblem has been removed from this, which is very nice. So just bringing this up to the camera, you can see the nice detail on the louvers. There's that CB radio. Turning it over, you can see it's got front and rear, or rear and front on there. It's got a little bit of a hood mat underneath, which again is quite nice. Little sink mark on the back of that CB radio. And again, we've got some old marks up in here, which you can take out with your sandpaper or number 16 hobby blade. Next up, we have our clear parts. And as you can see, a lot of them again broke off the parts tree, like our side windows and our rear window. And then here we have our front window. And these are the cool little porthole and keyhole side windows. Now again, our glass did get scratched up because this was not in a bag, but I'll just show you what these look like. Now as you can see, they've got a, quite a nice dome on them. They do pop out of the truck body, or the van body, and they are very nice. One other part here that we have is our red tail lamps, and again, bringing them up to the camera, they have the nice reflectors molded in place. Next up we have our amazing chrome parts tree, and as you can see, once again, all the wheels seem to have fallen out except for one. These are American style wheels. There's our alternator off the side here, as well as a chrome front bumper as an option. And then our tail lamps here, or actually those are the driving lights. And then we have our antennas, and this time around they are actually chrome plated, unlike uh, some of the others where they were just white plastic molded in place. Again, you can see that nice American style racing wheel on there, and our bumper. On the back, a couple of mold marks, nothing to worry about really. Overall, very nicely done for such minimal chrome. One thing that's interesting about this model is the commando tires in which we were given, and we have six. So again, this is sort of tied in with that six-wheeler version of the van. Now, I did notice, actually, by going through the parts, that I'm missing a bunch of stuff out of this model kit. I'm missing the custom grill, I'm missing the hood scoop, I'm missing the spoiler. So I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, if you get one of these cuckoo's nests, I hope you have those parts in there. Now as we look at these great commando tires, you can see that nice pie crust type edge to them. And then again, the really cool looking tread. And there's the spider web in the center, which of course you will have to cut out. You'll also need your wheel spinning tool in order to get rid of some of the edge on here. But overall, these are some pretty amazing looking tires. Oh boy, oh boy, now I get to do the decal sheet. You know, I'm a bit of a bird dog, so it's always cool to see these neat little birds up the side. And I sure did like that bagogi chicken. <laughs> well, anyway, there's our side stripes for the cuckoo's nest. And again, you can see these neat little uh, disco colors we got here, that rainbow graphic. I think I've seen this before, sort of on the, uh, hmm, where was that? Oh, the Ford cruising van. There we got our nice cuckoo nest decal and even a cuckoo nest license plate. Well, I hope you enjoyed our unboxing of AMT's Ford Cuckoo Nest Econoline van. And don't forget to tune in next week when we will be back with another great model car unboxing video. If you want to see what model kits we have available for sale, don't forget to check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca so that you can see what we have in store for you today. 
Now, until next time, everybody, keep the rubber on the road. Hey, everybody. If you love building model car kits, don't forget to join us over at the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage YouTube channel. That's where you can see all kinds of cool model car building stuff, videos, unboxings, tips and techs, and so much more. So look for that in YouTube now.